uh, the Botonics. Okay. And then Brittany's house. Right on. Hello, everybody. It's GL Smith with Northwest Vintage Guitars, and I'm here with Jacob Maxwell of Brittany's House, and we have five questions for Jacob Maxwell. All right. First question: mm -hmm. What was your first guitar? Oh my gosh, my first guitar was, <laughs> um, I think I was 12 years old, and my parents saw that I was interested in learning how to play the guitar, and they bought me a. Uh, it's called a Johnson. Yeah, it was seventy five bucks. Yeah, and uh, the back had this sort of red wood look to it. None of it was wood, but it was. Um, <laughs> I love that so much. That was the coolest thing ever. But looking back, is a seventy five dollar guitar. But I learned, you know, chord strumming patterns and learned all my chords. Got you on going. That guitar got me started. Right yeah. on. And uh, um, who was your biggest inspiration when learning how to play? Learning how to play. So kind of a, kind of a. I think it's more unique for what I play and how I play now. But as a kid, my uh, dad taught me how to play the one of the first opening lines to a Joe Satriani song. Ah. Um, and I didn't really get deep into his music or a lot of his discography, but um, it's called Always With Me, Always With You. It's a great and, song. Yeah. And I that was yeah. the first kind of lick I learned on the guitar. That got was, the wheels rolling. Absolutely. So that was a big inspiration. I would listen. I'd watch videos of him playing it live. Um, but I'd say he started like the excitement of like what I could do on the guitar. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And uh, the third question. Okay. Why? Why did you start playing guitar? I've always made a joke that um, it's because I couldn't do anything else. But <laughs> I think yeah. something kind of drew me to it. Um, my sister had like a, a little like mini guitar, um, like a it's like a harmony. I swear it's like this big and. Um, she didn't really like it. And I don't know, it's one of those things kind of like a love at first sight. I saw it, I heard it, and I was just like obsessed. I just, I knew I had to try to play it. Right and on. once I started getting things down, it was kind of like, I don't really know why. It, uh, just, it just felt right. And, okay. Yeah. All right. And the fourth question is the one that got away. Which guitar did you used to own that you no longer own for whatever reason and you wish you did? I had a Telecaster. Um, I got it from an online site and I didn't really put a lot of effort into fixing it up. Like I think I didn't, when it showed up, there was fret buzzing. I was like 13 or 14 and my brain wasn't even aware of like, I could go get this fixed. Mm. So I ended up selling it to a friend and looking back, I was like, I should have kept this telecaster. <laughs> um, so I look back wondering how much I would regret that. Now I've, I have some guitars that I love, but I, I always think about that telly and I'm like, I can't believe my 14, 15 year old self was like, it's buzzy. It's probably a bad one. I'll, uh, I'll, just go, I'll sell it. <laughs> there's, there's a telly regret in my history too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> the last question, mm -hmm. the desert island question, you're stranded on a desert island. You can have mm -hmm. one amp and one guitar or an acoustic. What will it be? Oh, that's so tough. You have to pick one or the other? Yeah. Okay. Jeez, we, we don't have unlimited storage I guess storage I can't just here. pick a bunch. I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah. So this, is a, the, so this is a Desert Island with a power outlet. Yes. Okay. Then I would pick my 335. Um, and if it's like a dream amp, it'd be a super reverb. Mm. Um, I have a deluxe reverb that I really enjoy. But if it's like, get whatever you want, probably a super reverb. Yeah. And, and my 335. And if you're on the desert island, you're probably not moving it around a lot. True. I'll just keep it in its yeah, one spot. I'll, I'll hook it up. Yeah. Next to the outlet. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right next to the outlet. <laughs> All right. Great. I wanted to thank you for sitting in of for course. the five questions. Thanks for having me. Uh, Brittany's House has a new release out mm. on Spotify. That's We're going right. to put a link down below. It's called A Blur Together. Mm. Fantastic song. I know we've thank linked you. it before, but now we get to link it with, Mac with uh, Jacob Maxwell. He's a singer in the group. But for now, that's it for Five Questions with Jacob Matt with Maxwell, and we'll see you later. Thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> that's awesome. You made for the camera, Jacob.